Boys and girls, Frequency Horizon fans. I didn't think I was gonna make it up here. Not this time, and not even with all the little challenges I overcame, but here we are. Time to enjoy the flow all the way down the mountain. Hopefully I don't get stuck in too much powder, but trust me, I'm gonna enjoy it for what it is. Hopefully it'll set me up for that next chapter ahead. And sorry you guys couldn't make it here. Some of you, maybe you did, if so, let me know about it in the comments. But uh, other than that, just <laughs> enjoy my pain, my suffering, my struggle, and also the glorious moment here at Homewood Resort on the west side of Lake Tahoe. Here we go. Ready to rock and roll. Peace. So there was some crazy rain. Saw a little bit of a police chase. Oh, you know, just watching some dude getting arrested in San Leandro outside of this apartment complex as the rain falls down. Dropping a guy and a girl off at their apartment and I was like, what's going on? It turned out, cops and stuff, this guy said he uh, stole the car, got him just in time. They seemed pretty fired up about it. He ended up in Stockton, which is kind of a ghetto to be honest. I figured, you know, Made a bunch of money, and I'm about halfway through my, my week, and I think I need a little bit of a break. I deserve a little bit of a break. I've never been to Lake Tahoe. I'm very excited about checking it out. Right now, I know there's about a 45 to 50 minute delay on the highways going up there. So, with the big foot of snow that uh, is dumped down, I think that uh, a lot of the Bay Area thinking they want to get their ski on, their snowboard on. Personally, I've been inspired by my landlord in LA who just headed up to Mammoth. You can watch that video um, on our YouTube. It's, it's the first one we did, but uh, I figured it might be time to have a look at Tahoe. Just a quick sneak peek and the purpose for grabbing a ski ticket, a lift ticket there was you have to actually buy it the day before in most of the resorts. And in fact, in some of the resorts, it's already sold out in that area. So uh, it was coming up on 11.45, 11.55, and uh, you know, pretty good deal. It was just, just north of 100 bucks. So considering how much I made yesterday in Lyft, just saw it as a sign. So instead of spending the money on gas, driving all the way back to San Francisco, to, uh, instead of driving all the way back to, um, Instead of driving all the way back to Santa Cruz and then driving all the way back to the Bay Area to go and get those short rides so I can make my bonus this week, I figured it's only an extra hour to head up here, check it out, and see what we can get. And uh, it's still raining a little bit, but not too bad. So, you know, I really don't want to be seen as contributing to the COVID-19 problem, but I am going by myself and I'm not really gonna be interacting with too many people, not really renting a place, just going and, uh, you know, hopefully getting a snowboard in. I found a good deal on Groupon, uh, so I picked one of those up. I don't know if that'll, hopefully it'll apply like immediately. If not, I'll have a Groupon for later, and yeah, sorting it all out. One step at a time, we're gonna get through this. Yeah. You from around these parts? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, actually from here, Pollock Pines. Pollock Pines? Yeah. Is it Pollock area. slash Pines? What's up? I saw on my uh, GPS it said like uh, Pollock slash Pines. Or is oh, it all wow. one word? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, it's getting pretty gnarly. I haven't seen snow in like a long time, man. Oh yeah, no, this, this is probably the biggest storm. We were hoping for this yesterday. We were supposed to get feet of snow. Been thirsty for some snow up here. Thanks so much for letting me helping me out here. Yeah, no problem. Man. Picked up these badass chains at this little store here, little shell shop. Got this awesome little car going here, and it's a trusty little car, but uh, I don't know that it's gonna make it up the mountain otherwise, you know. Okay, we're gonna pull over to the dryer area. 
try her again. All right, try number two. Should we work at the gas station here? When it snows, I just patrol up and down the, the city and then the highway and just help people, so this is what I do. I was in Stockton? Uh -huh. Damn, it was gonna take me two hours to drive back to Santa Cruz. You know, normally it wouldn't even take a, take three hours to drive up to uh, Lake Tahoe. I figured it made more sense to do that. Uh, they're, they're supposed to get like, I wanna say like six to eight feet of snow up there. All right, so you, you wrap it around. Get right in there, yeah. That's the key. And then you have to, it looks like you have to line up the, the little holes. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. I did a few videos so far, mostly surfing stuff and... Yeah, well not not like a professional surfer, but I just like to surf. I just like to surf, you know? That's what it's all about. And uh, you know what I realized, like, I could get a little snowboard in before everyone figures out that it, the snowboard thing is going on, right? That's <laughs> one. So is that, that's, that's golden, right? Let's get a look at that. Wow, look at that cliff. One, two, three, four notches in. Whoa, what is this? I've never seen this part before. These tighteners. Huh. Just make sure that they don't come loose while you're driving. So if they're loose, and you hit anything that's really too fast, what happens is the, the chains can damage your inner tire well, or if they get too loose on the edge right here, they'll scrape all this mess it up. Oh, I see. And then you'll undo it right here, right here on the hook, and just reach around the back and do the same thing. It's like putting springs on a trampoline, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Boys and girls, I feel like I'm back in my homeland of Canada. I feel like a warmth inside of me that's, uh, you know, growing up, for, but, but it's not true. I'm still in America. It's just that uh, we have all these lovely frosted flakes, uh, you know, telling us of uh, possible adventures ahead. Or calamity, who knows? <laughs> Good to go. Just figured I'd hunker down for the for a bit, get a bit of shut eye. Roadway conditions are pretty much what we're looking at right now, which is going to be a moderate snow most of the day, from what we understand. And so you think uh, there'll be pretty good uh, snow up on the slopes, or what? Hopefully so. We need it. It's late snow, but hopefully they'll carry us through. Any, sometimes you get through to June, right? So. <laughs> Any crazy accidents that you guys had to deal with last night? It's been pretty mellow so far. Thank well, goodness. Last night I wasn't working, so I can't speak for our shift last night, but this morning it's been just pretty routine calls. One accident so far in this area. Uh, nothing serious. I'm hoping to keep it that way. Cool, thank you so much. Take care, be safe. That's taking you forever, why is it taking so long? Oh, it's too long, man. How many tires you gotta do? Uh, eight in the front and two in the back. Oh, wow. What are you hauling today? Food. Food? Food. From where to where? Uh, Fresno to Carson City. Carson City yeah. vegetables or meats or what? Everything. Everything. All right. Well, good luck, man. All right, brother. Sure, you don't want to come up, go snowboarding today? Right. Time to hit the slopes. So I'm <laughs> beginning to regret my last-minute decision drive an extra quote-unquote hour into the mountains to go for a little snowboard. Uh, I haven't seen 
piles of snow like this for years. Oh my goodness. Chains kind of holding together mostly, sort of. A little bit, we got the St. Archer brewing thing going on. And uh, a lot of slipping and sliding happening. places. Jeez. Oh no. Okay. Well, I have enough gas for now. Okay. Drive by later. Okay. I just want to go here. And I cannot lock the store without to be inside. So <laughs> it's so many keys. Even for the car. Shout out to the guys at Toyota here for hooking me up with some air. Man, air is scarce out here. But, uh, you know, they hooked a brother up and, you know, one step at a time. I got a Groupon from Blue Zone. About to find out if it works and if I could still go snowboarding today in the insane powder. Woo! Look at this, they're so brand new. We've got the cardboard in it. Beauty. You're in a goofy footed stance, so all that means is your front foot's gonna be angled a little bit more forward than your back foot. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more comfortable because facing forward, uh, that front foot wants to angle out a little bit more. Yeah, nice, uh, nice mask by the way. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> um, hey, by the way, um, yeah, what, how would you like describe like how this snowstorm compares to what you normally see around here? This is a pretty big storm, uh, especially the biggest storm we've had so far. Um, but it's not uncommon for Tahoe for us to get, you know, a good three to four feet, you know, in, in one storm. So. <laughs> nice catch. Yeah, yeah, nice catch. Right, so it's, it's a big one, but not, not uncommon. It happens quite often here, at least a few times a year. The beautiful, gorgeous Homewood Mountain Resort. Of course, as you can see, I totally missed it. Um, had to drive 20 to 25 miles an hour, but this time, guess what? The chains held. So, little victory, um, but I'm gonna go in there and see if they'll be accommodating at all over the phone. Um, I mentioned my plate, so hopefully we'll have some luck. Feels like, if anything, Guest services. All right, let's go. Right. Got a pop tire. Yay, Tahoe. All right, so I decided to pay the guy to help me switch my tire out. Which point I found out the Corollas don't have a donut, which is sweet. They have an actual tire in the back, which I guess I didn't notice before. And uh, so, yes, snow adventure is saved once again. I'm gonna go to Homewood and hopefully don't pop another tire, reorganize the chains, what's left of them anyways. And uh, yeah, the conditions are getting better. So I assume what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have an awesome time 
catch some awesome flow, and then uh, by the time I head down the mountain, perhaps chains won't even be necessary. <laughs> I have to say, it's kind of nice to pick up some of these mountain strains, you know? Just that uh, old school breakbeat funky flow. About ready to hit the mountain. So glad they were able to move my pass over a day. I know they don't normally do that, but these are exceptional circumstances, folks. <laughs> Here we are. Got my ticket passed over to today. Thanks to the kind folks who understood the plight that I was in. And I think you'll have to agree. It's been a pretty epic journey to get here so far. Uh, hopefully it's worth the effort. I mean, look at these snow conditions. Like, honestly, um, it's basically my favorite type of snow condition, you know? Powder, but kind of like soft and hopefully not too deep. And uh, even got my Tahoe mask, keeping the coronavirus arresting phenomenon strong. Let's see at the top. We're waiting for the shuttle that takes us to the South Lodge, and then at that point, you can take the quail chair up and access pretty much all of this. Really? Yeah. So. And what are the runs up there like today? I mean, um, it's deep. It's pretty deep. So it's so deep you'll get stuck. <laughs> it's pretty heavy snow, but it's super fun. Francisco, but the Highway 80 road is down, and so they weren't able to fix it. That's how crazy this is. And I guess in a way, I'm, I'm lucky I got stuck up here when I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy this fantastic powder and just look at that. to get chilly. That's why I'm stoked that I rigged up these DIY snow pants, kids snow pants, ripped them open. That's all they had there. But I've been in enough conditions like this <laughs> in Canada and elsewhere to know that, uh, hey, it's not about looking cool. It's about staying dry, at least as much as possible. sesh in a couple years here goes nothing all right nice gentle flow exactly how I would want it oh yeah Buttery, delightful, almost too slow in a way, but I'm also going slow because of the camera, so happy to take my time.
for all the snow. It's a shame how empty it is. It kind of feels like I have this place all to myself. I mean, there's a few people here, but at least I don't have to worry about random skiers and as many pro dudes like running over my ass when I fall, right? I've been saying all along though, these masks work like perfect face warmers. And way more stylish too. All right, guys, what a great day. <laughs> yeah, definitely not going over there. Midway relax point. Finding great standards for fire can be like yourself. How's it going? What's the plan? And uh, how do you assess the situation? It's pretty dope. Um, it's snowing currently, so fresh powder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been great. Did you get up here today or how, what was the, where are you guys from and what was the process to get up here? Uh, we live in Napa, so we came up Tuesday before the storm. Um, yeah, perfect. And yeah, just kind of watched it snow and then decided today it was safe to get our butts up here. So. Yeah, we had to go far around the lake though, but uh, it took us two, almost two and a half hours to get here from South Shore. Which yeah. It take 45 minutes. That's so, me, that's... You know what? Gotta do it. Great snow out here, so we're soaked beer. All right, cool. Thanks so much. Have a good one. All right, time to hit another chair. Head it back up to the top. Can't even see the lake. This is the Tahoe experience. Lift shuts down for a second. You gotta have patience, tire pops. Have patience, use your spare. And enjoy the flow even when your music dies. I bet those people on that airplane wish they were here right now. Sun sneaking back through. Uh, it says that at the base, yeah. the 24 hour total was 12 inches in the last 24 hours and 45 during this storm. Uh, the summit, we got 19 inches in the last 24 hours and 66 inches for the storm total. 66 inches. So that is our most updated, 66 inches. 66 inches at the summit in this storm. That's what we're dealing with, guys. All right, time to head up there. It's your boy Drew at the top of Homewood Resort here in Tahoe. You're tuned in to the Frequency Horizon. Don't go anywhere.
you know, just trying to shoot a little YouTube thing. What could be better than the state of flow? Uh, I was kind of questioning it before, but fuck it. It was 1000% worth it, everything. All the pain, all the suffering, all the struggles. Just experience this. You couldn't get better conditions. Lake Tahoe. <laughs> that was almost a wipeout, hey? Pretty controlled. Going this way. Love the fact that there's food here, but ten dollar hot dogs. I think that. Oh, what the hell am I thinking? I got the work cut out for me. all to yourself reminds me of Vancouver Island days and I love that I'm moving to a giant forest near a uh, not snowboardable but mountain bikeable area including a, a state park which is pretty cool so you may hear some of that for me in the future too Like it sounds like you know pretty good. Yeah, I'm from South Lake. Reno. Reno, yeah. Oh wow. I work Five here. So. Oh, you work here? Yeah. Jeez. So you you know what you're talking about? That's oh, crazy. Yeah. So how? I mean, today's my first day ever coming to uh, Lake Tahoe. Oh, nice. Ever. Dude. I I had a lot of craziness figuring it out, but I got here. Yeah. How do you think I did for uh, you know? Oh, you picked the right spot, man. Some of the best snow is right here, honestly. Yeah. I rode Henley the other day, and it was just like. Too fluffy and it's just scraping a bunch and stuff like that, but it's packed good here. It's not touching anything. You think it's the best day of the year? So yeah, definitely. Easily 100 percent Easily 100 percent the oh, best yeah. day of the year. Best day of the year 2021 so far. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 